Hello, I'm Jamila Musaiva, an international social etiquette consultant and author of Etiquette Books, Etiquette, the least you need to know, and Afternoon Tea Etiquette. If you would like to order my books, please make sure to do so directly through my website. I'll link it here as well down in the description box below. If you're someone who is new to my channel, here I talk about etiquette, soft skills, self-development, and sometimes fashion and style. So if you're interested in all of that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are a returning viewer i am delighted to see you back on my channel also if you're someone who is adamant about etiquette you can join my patreon etiquette movie club where every month i analyze etiquette lessons from a given movie so far i've analyzed over 20 different kind of movies so by joining my patreon etiquette movie club you can view all those movies at once also, if you want to enhance your knowledge of the Western formal dining etiquette, you can purchase my online course, which is available on my website and has subtitles in Spanish, Arabic, and English. Thank you so much for being so patient with my introduction, and I will not make you wait for any longer and tell you about today's video based on what I'm wearing right now and where I am, you can tell that I am at Tiffany's and today's video is about jewelry capsule collection. So if you've been following me for some time on my Instagram, you know that I'm a huge fan of Tiffany's. I have uh, quite a few items from the house in my personal collection and I actually fell in love with the house by watching Breakfast at Tiffany's as a little girl. Uh, I has, have always been a fan of Audrey Hepburn and I actually did a really remake of the movie and that video is available both on my Instagram as well here on YouTube. I have always dreamt of reliving that moment and really um, that house has become so iconic and so entrenched in my memory as a little girl. So being able to do this video right now here seated at Tiffany is a truly uh, dream come true for me. So in collaboration with Tiffany, I will show you some of my personal favorite items uh, in the house and what would be the pieces that I think one should invest in in creating the perfect, elegant and timely jewelry, jewelry collection. If some of you have seen this post on Instagram that I did of what would be my go-to a uh, very curated jewelry collection uh, and I have shown some of these pieces on Instagram posts as well. I just wanted to take this time and show you with the video how these items look in real life on me. First things first, I cannot imagine a perfect jewelry collection without studs. Uh, so these are the studs that I'm wearing currently and I think they look amazing, not just with everyday wear, with like a plain white shirt and jeans and sweater. They look beautiful with a long black tie dress like this. You can tell that you can add a necklace, you can build it on. It's that kind of a um, item in the jewelry collection that never goes out of fashion. It can be passed from generation to generation. It fits pretty much all face shapes and really just the size of the stone is something that would be decided upon, you know, take into account your budget and just what looks good on your face. But otherwise, I think studs are the things that you have to invest in because they just look perfect with everyday wear as well as any cocktail or any evening formal wear. Generally, I'm just someone who really loves studs and I think they just look amazing with anything and everything. And um, if I were to only have one piece of jewelry at hand with me, that will definitely be studs. So if I have to just take one piece, that will be it. But I am also someone who loves hoops. And I think if studs is something that is elegant, timeless, then hoops is something that's super feminine and it's just very playful. So there are different kinds of uh, hoops that you can wear. There are the larger hoops and then obviously the smaller ones. So I've chosen these two are my favorite ones in Tiffany collection. What I love about hoops in general is that um, if you are wearing something for a, day, a daily wear, if you're going out in the evening, Evening. this is something that really makes you more uh, chic uh, immediately by just putting them on I would suggest that when choosing hoops you opt for something that is fitting to your face so with studs you don't really have to you know have a certain shape of face for them to suit you whereas with hoops you have to first of all find the right color that suits the best for your skin tone and skin undertone 
if you haven't watched that video make sure that you do to figure out which color jewelry looks best on you you have to figure out the the color of it as well as the size of it some hoops come in a larger size others are smaller some are more round other ones are longer elongated they look more like oval shaped so you really have to try them on to understand what looks best on you with studs, I would suggest investing into diamond studs because again, as I said, they never get out of fashion. They can be passed from generation to generation. With hoops, again, if you are someone who feels comfortable wearing diamond for daily wear, then I would suggest investing into diamond hoops because they always elevate any kind of look. If you're wearing a black turtleneck, if you're wearing a sweater, anything just looks amazing with, uh, with diamond hoops. Uh, but if you don't feel comfortable with diamonds, then you can of course find something that doesn't have any diamonds on and just looks perfect with the daily wear uh, with the earrings whereas I think studs hoops are something that is a must-have in your collection and they as I already said it they can be worn you know for daytime wear for evening wear another piece of my favorite Tiffany earrings are these hanging ones you've probably seen this in one of my Instagram posts but those ones were with sapphire and these are aquamarine which is actually one of my favorite stones I love how I love just any shade of blue but light blue is my favorite one and I think at these piece of earrings they actually uh, are such a memorable one and the ones that really stand out uh, it's very um, you know very rare that you see this kind of uh, solitaire eardrop uh, kind of shaped with a beautiful aquamarine stone and again I think this is a piece that could be worn by my granddaughter and this is always going to be you know the iconic Tiffany piece um, and it's very much uh, resembling the color of the house as well uh, and so just if I were to invest into a piece of earring that I could wear you know for evening occasions with a beautiful black dress then that will be definitely this pair the second item in my ideal jewelry collection would be this Victoria tennis necklace. I fell in love with it the first time I saw it. I named it my dream necklace. It's truly my dream necklace. I think it just makes any decollete look so much better. You can wear it again with a formal wear like this or you can wear it for every day with a nice uh, white plain shirt. You know, maybe you have a turtleneck and have it on top. It really depends on you know, your personality and if you can uh, wear diamonds during the day. Uh, probably with my work, I try not to wear diamonds during the day, but uh, it's something I think any woman um, should have in the collection, uh, just so that in case it's an upscale party during the day and they want to elevate their look then this necklace should definitely be in the collection and it just looks perfect on any neck and any decollete because um, it just sits really right on the chest it doesn't you know hang down so whatever you're wearing any cut be it an oval shape be it a triangular shape the neck will be exposed and this necklace would be seen if this necklace is my ultimate favorite dream necklace then the second dream or the second favorite so to speak uh, necklace would be either solitaire which is a one diamond stone uh, necklace that looks so nice so elegant um, so just really subtle on you and just really uh, makes you look very dainty um, or it would be the Victoria Collection Leaf uh, Tiffany and I think it looks like a little petals of flower uh, which adds this little um, romance to the whole look. Uh, I really love how it looks just worn alone or maybe paired with something else, maybe a hanging uh, key. I think it's just the kind of a necklace that looks great alone but could easily be layered if if you are someone who is into layering and of course if I were to layer it with something if we're talking about Tiffany's we can never forget the iconic Tiffany key necklaces and what is beautiful about these necklaces is they are long enough and they can be worn both in front over the shirt over a bulky sweater over a nice blouse or you can actually turn it around and wear it if you have an open back dress and just lay it on flat on your back and just have this beautiful jewelry piece on your back so what what I love about keys is that this is an iconic item in the house and again as something that I've already mentioned this can be passed on from generation to generation and it is something truly uh, uh, that the house is very much recognized for. Now let's move on to my bracelets. Here I'm wearing a Victoria bracelet that is the iconic for the house. It's usually known as the bride collection because a lot of brides opt for this um, 
diamonds uh, plain so plain it's not so plain because it has diamonds but very just simple flower beautiful very feminine and elegant designed uh, bracelet i personally really like it because i think it looks just perfectly great for evening wear but also paired with a nice pair of watch uh, it could really elevate the look of the watch and also add a little bit of that uh, extra something to the entire look uh, it also again depends on your you know per profession on the personality or uh, and things like that whether you feel comfortable wearing diamonds for everyday wear or not uh, but if you don't then another neck the another bracelet that looks really great is this atlas bracelet that's a mix uh, with really fine diamonds and it's a recognizable piece in the house atlas collection gets repeated over and over again and it is something that is in a way subtle because if someone is looking from far away they can't really tell what bracelet you're wearing but at the same time you know if someone is up close um, and they know the collection they will know it's tiffany and what i love about uh, these kind of bracelets is that it could be worn with every day but not being too flashy in your eyes uh, so this is something i think looks really nice worn alone but also if you're pairing it up with a more uh, upscale so to speak more jewelry more diamonds then it just elevates the whole look and adds a bit of more trendiness uh, to the entire look speaking of bracelets actually i want to show you some two other pieces that i think are very iconic to the house and that is the tiffany t bracelet as well as this lock the lock one is actually a new collection so it's the new design um, and it symbolizes love uh, and i think these two look really great paired together but also just these two bracelets are now the upcoming eight uh, bracelets of the house uh, so if you're someone who loves trendy things who loves you know being in fashion then i think these two bracelets are the ones that are worth investing in now to wrap up the collection i've talked about earrings necklace and bracelets now let's talk about my favorite ring pieces so of course when we talk about rings it's uh, when we talk about tiffany the first thing we think of is actually an engagement ring a marriage wedding band so of course i'm just like anyone else very much uh, in love with tiffany rings uh, so this one is um, the uh, solister ring and this is the embrace one and worn together i think they just uh, you know elevate any manicure in any hand uh, and i hope that you know whoever is watching this video that if you are expecting a marriage proposal if you're you know going to get married soon and or if you're just wishing about that i really hope that your dream comes true and i really hope that you are being proposed with a tiffany ring next here i have another embrace tiffany ring wedding band uh, that could be worn either with an engagement ring as a layer uh, so together or you can actually wear it separately so for example right now i'm wearing it on my index finger and um, i think just i rarely wear rings on an index finger but sometimes a ring like this uh, without anything else on my hand uh, with a you know white t-shirt jeans some ballet flats it just looks so chic and trendy i think um, and sometimes i do want to add that chicness to my whole look and i would opt for placing it on my index finger um, again this is something i think is more trendy uh, than elegant but I still find it very nice uh, and it looks really uh, feminine on the hand next my favorite item is this recognizable now the tea collection ring that you've probably seen in some of my posts as well i really like this very fine uh, diamond tiffany ring uh, again the delicate tea um, i wear the one with the blue uh, enamel but this one just has diamonds on it and again as uh, someone who really likes fine items i think it looks really nice for everyday wear on the hand uh, embrace one can look a little bit Big for daily wear but again depends on your profession but the tea ring alone just looks very um, simple yet so elegant on a hand now to wrap up the entire video i just wanted to say once again that i don't personally own these jewelry pieces they were kindly provided to me by the tiffany store here in baku to shoot for this video and uh, these are all the pieces that i have handpicked and i have curated and i would uh, invest into creating the perfect dream uh, jewelry capsule collection for myself uh, i find these pieces to be really standing the test of time to be so timeless i've said it once again over 
over and over and I will say it again because for me this house is symbolic of timelessness uh, you know Tiffany's was an iconic place in the 20s and it's still iconic today as well and I love the whole aura of it and um, I think these are things that could be passed on again from me to my daughter to her daughter and you know to my son's wife and their children and you know they will remember me uh, for these pieces and uh, this is something that will stay hopefully in the family for generations to come and I love the idea of it and whoever is watching this video today I really hope that all your dreams and wishes come true and that if there's something that you have in mind and have dreamt of you know of, of buying from Tiffany's that this dream comes true sooner or later and I so believe that once you think about it these dreams really do come true but given that you put enough action and effort into you know your your goals and your wishes thank you so much for watching this video until the very end i hope that you enjoyed it please mention down in the comment section below what were some of your favorite pieces or what are some of your favorite I iconic jewelry pieces in general and i'll be more than happy to read your comments thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye